Hi everyone, welcome to round 8 of Nuremberg 1896. Now this is a game between Lasker and Chigorin, and it's quite an epic game. It's probably my favorite from the tournament, or one of my favorites, and we're going to spend three videos on this game. The first question is, in this position, it's white to move, black just played knight from e7 to d5. And your question, number one, evaluate this position. So is it even? White's better. White's winning. Black's winning. Black's better. And kind of figure out what you would do here. And this might take a bit of time. I think five, five minutes minimum would be good in this position. Maybe ten minutes. All right. So the answer is that black is better here. Uh, white does not have a good answer to the fact that these pawns are weak. Black's threatening to take on b4. We're also threatening to take on c3. Now, we have a few attempts to um, make something happen here, like, let's say, b5. But I think, in this case, we can just go pawn takes. And if knight takes knight, rook takes rook. And I don't see a problem here. I know there's a few other attempts for white. Um, but and that don't really work too well. Like knight e4, we can just take the a pawn or, or take the b pawn maybe, and it just doesn't quite work out. White's attack is not so great because this knight on f3 is not involved. These rooks are not involved, so we really have no real attack against the king. So when it when it's all said and done, white's position just sucks. There's not any any really good moves he can play, and the problem is after after in the game he went knight takes d5. Pawn takes d5, now black is threatening rook takes rook, we're also threatening queen takes a4. And there's just no great way to stop all of this. And Lasker ended up doing this, and queen h4, which looks like it might defend. The problem is, black can just take, and after queen d8, knight to e8. And as you see, black is just up a pawn here, um, White's knight, again, can't really get into the attack, and black is a very obvious-looking idea. If we can't win this b-pawn, we can just play the move a5 and just ram that a-pawn down the board. So white's position is absolutely critical here. This is what happened in the game, and we are going to look at the remainder of this game in the next two videos. But if you saw that first position and you weren't biased, because I know you could be easily biased because it was white's move, and, and think that white was better, but nope, black had a clear advantage in that position, and he showed it and by getting the position that we have in the game. I mean, black's just up a pawn. So I will see you tomorrow with part two of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.